there there was a really good challenge that um somebody submitted to vj for the excel bi it was about four or five days ago and i wrote about it and it's just a great kind of threshold test i think for data analysts it's like if you can clean that data set that like that challenge was like the minimum skills threshold i would say for a data analyst like yeah if you can't clean that data set you've got you've got some work to do yeah. and so i i submitted my response in m code and then i said well let me let me throw that data into Superbase, and let me just try cleaning it with natural language and yeah. i just sat there last night for 10 literally 10 minutes and just said okay you know create a a field that's you know a three character representation of the month mm -hmm. okay now unpivot that data and merge it with the um you with the with the exchange rate table yeah. and now create a a field that's exchange rate times price times quantity and unpivot the data and it just it just snaps through i mean if you know what you want to do and to me mm -hmm. it was kind of a perfect illustration of you need to bring the expertise of what you want to do to transform the data, but you don't mm. actually need to know how to do that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we, we have such a good insight into this, right? Because we were, you know, we're big and we're big, we've been big into power query, big into the power BI universe. There was a reason why those tools have done so well, particularly yeah. power query, right? Cause it's just point and click. They made a lot of that data transformation stuff incredibly easy, but I think a lot of um, those who are in that world right now um, forget that, look, you can do trans data transformation in actually lots of ways. You can use Python, you can use SQL, like Power Query is not the, the only way you can do data transformation. And what's happening with these AI tools is that they can write perfect SQL now. They can write perfect uh, Python now. 